All right, guys. So you guys know yesterday I made a curry lobster. That was the East Indian version. Today we're going to be making the Trinidadian version, the Caribbean style. So basically this curry is a more drier, spicier curry. It doesn't have any coconut milk. And it features shrimp, fresh lobster, eggplant, and potatoes. We got some chicken here right here as well. We got some eggplant. Oh yeah? Uh, who doesn't like it? Oh, very nice, very nice. You guys see how that's well seasoned right there? We have the uh, onion, garlic, cilantro, shadow benny, salt, pepper, the basic essentials, and of course the fresh lobster meat. That's the that's the that's the all-star lineup Buddha. right there. Look at that right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So if you guys didn't know how to clean lobster, I'm gonna be doing a video on that as well. The most efficient way to clean the lobster quickest and how to get him, you know, ready for the pot. So you guys know that we had the eggplant inside there, the curry, potatoes, that was with some nice, uh, you know, I'm saying some zero, some curry, some other seasoning, some oil. So we just dropped the lobster and the shrimp, and what we're gonna do is turn that heat up nice and uh, get everything bubbling in here. We're doing two batches, that's without uh, eggplant and potato, because not everybody, you know, is for that, but this right here, this is a real deal right here. You guys see the onion, uh, potato, the egg. Oh yeah, baby. You better go my post. It's so nice. He went on a giant stroke. It's a nice, you see? Mm -hmm. But it's sauce, I need a sauce with this. Pink. That's a good one, eh? Well, how is it? How is it? How is it? Good. Very good. It doesn't Seems like it's a little bit spicy, huh? Very yeah, very spicy. What about you, Uncle? What you think? Oh, it's quite spicy. Good? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Tone, you have a piece yet or no? All right. That was nice. This is a nice, healthy piece of lobster tail right there, mm -hmm. I have to say, you know? All right, all right. It going on sometimes depending on how hungry I am and what I'm craving for today, you know? It depends, it depends. So fun fact, the theory about curry, why Indian people love it, is because it's supposed to be really, really healthy for you guys. Like it has like a lot of spices, herbs, you know, these Indi us Indian people have been eating this since the dawn of time. And that's why, you know, we usually one of the healthiest people we age the best, mm -hmm. and uh, we're known to be some of the most intelligent, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it has something to do with the food, but uh, I know one thing though, the food is really delicious. Honestly, turmeric, right? It could be curry, turmeric for the color. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, everything that Indian cook, what I like to have turmeric in it. That's an interesting fact right there. And turmeric, now like people in America are just doing research on it. Realizing it's for circulation, joint health, memory health, so you know. It's something new to you guys, but it's something that we've been, we've been here about. Alright y'all, so I'm back right now, man. I got my plate right here. I just wanted you guys to take a look at what we're working with. You guys know I'm a grown man. And I do not play with my food, man. We got right here the stew chicken. We got the stew chicken right there. That's basically chicken seasoned and cooked in like a tomato-based sweet sauce right there. And uh, give that a little taste real quick. It's similar to like the Jamaican brown stew, but it's, a, it's like a Trinidadian red stew. You know what I'm saying? More tomato-y, sweet, spicy, savory. And as you guys see right here, we got some rice, but underneath it, we have the curry right there. This curry is mixed with eggplant, potatoes, shrimp, and lobster. So we're gonna go ahead, get a nice healthy teaspoon right there. Notice I got a small spoon too because I'm trying to, you know, savor my food. Usually when I eat, sometimes I just be, you know, inhaling it, but uh, this type of meal is something you definitely wanna, you know, taste everything and savor. Okay, <laughs> it's got a little bit of heat to it. That's typical of my mom's cooking. Trinidadian food, very spicy, but the spice goes together with the curry. It's not just so spicy, it's like it's got heat to it, it's got some warmth. Also, a very uh, deep and detailed flavor profile. So, we got that right there. You guys remember these from last time, those heavy claws. Then, we got a nice fat piece of lobster tail right there. Lobster might be with some rice. The, uh, the eggplant and the potato is a really good, uh, you know, adds really good body to the sauce, makes it nice and thick and rich. And all of those vegetables absorb the flavor of the lobster. So it's like a win-win, you know? <laughs> that lobster is so effing good. That's all I gotta say, man. Super sweet, 
super fresh. It's like it just melts in your mouth. It's just delicious. It's like it's just so effing good. You know what I'm saying? So we got some Coke right here. Got some Pepsi. Shout out to Pepsi. You guys don't know. You guys know I don't mess with Coke, but shout out to Pepsi. You guys know I don't mess with Coke, but shout out to Pepsi. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know enjoy dinner, man. Got another scrimp right there. Mm. A little bit of shell. These shrimp right here are fresh golf shrimp. Pink shrimp. Florida's west coast. It's shrimp season right now in certain spots, especially uh, summertime in the Gulf. That right there is some really, really good curry. Perfectly seasoned, perfectly spiced. It's got everything. Lobster, chicken, shrimp, potatoes, some eggplant. Potatoes, some eggplant. Just want to let you guys know we are going to have some new iguana recipe videos coming in the future. We're going to make iguana burgers, iguana lasagna, parmesan iguana, iguana ceviche, spaghetti, and iguana. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, you know, leave a comment. I'm also going to be doing some a couple of surprise recipes as well. The authentic Mexican recipes, guys. So you guys want to stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, man, appreciate you watching this video. Any questions, leave a comment. Of course, hit the like and subscribe. And, uh, ooh, excuse me. Until next time, guys, just keep on catching.